the major layers of the earth. There's a lot more to earth than just oceans and mountains. There's a whole lot of action going on under our feet. If you cut the earth in half, you would notice it has many layers. These layers can be divided up into one of two ways, mechanically or chemically. This video will focus on chemically. Chemically, there are four major layers, crust, mantle, outer core, and inner core. The crust is the outermost layer of the planet and what you're standing on. It is very thin and makes up only 1% of the volume of the entire Earth. The oceanic crust is the thinnest and the continental crust is the thickest. The crust is solid, with the oceanic crust being made up of dense material, while the continental crust is made up of less dense material. The next layer is the mantle, which makes up 84% of the Earth's volume. It is the thickest layer and can be divided into the upper and lower mantle. The mantle is solid, but not hard and acts more like a viscous liquid. The movement of the material in the mantle is responsible for continental drift, earthquakes, mountain chains, and other geological processes. The top of the upper mantle and the crust is also known as the lithosphere. Right below that, also located in the upper mantle is the asthenosphere. The asthenosphere is a fluid-like solid, kind of like toothpaste. Its movement affects the lithosphere. The lithosphere is rigid and when stressed, can break. This happens when we experience earthquakes. After the mantle is the outer core. It is 2300 kilometers thick and along with the inner core makes up 15% of the Earth's volume. It is made up primarily of liquid iron, with some nickel and other lighter elements. It creates a magnetic field which acts like a shield against the sun's solar winds. The inner mantle is around 1500 kilometers thick, and again, with the outer mantle, makes up 15% of the Earth's volume. It is made up of solid iron and nickel, and even though the internal core temperature is estimated at 5400 degrees Celsius, which would be enough to melt the iron and nickel at the surface, the pressure inside the inner core causes a higher melting point, keeping them solids. So to wrap it up, the four major layers are the crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.